Craig, this was good from United, wasn't it? Yeah, and you know, Martial, we know he has the talent, but we want to see the consistency, and he set a bar there uh, for the rest of the season. Look, Sheffield United haven't come back from this lockdown very well. They got hammered at Newcastle uh, a few days ago. They had a few injuries, uh, so they weren't really at the races. That being said, it was about as impressive from United as I've seen in a while. We're forgetting the opposition, you can only play what's in front of you. The fact that we talked the other day, would Pogba come back in? He did. Would Greenwood get a start? He did. And Pogba being allowed to play that little deeper role now because they've got another playmaker in Fernandez, so it takes a little bit of a load off his shoulders. And it really worked well, the movement, the pace in behind from Rashford as well. They really looked a lot slicker than they had done, uh, you know, certainly in the first half of the season. Stevie? Well, the one thing we all threw at them from the start of the season in particular was that they cannot break anybody down. You know, any team that sits and tries to break on them, they have problems breaking them down. Well, today they got through goodness knows how many times, particularly in the first half. And if you ever had any questions about the talent of Pogba, the little first time dink in behind when Rashford missed the volley. I mean, what a ball. So, listen, yes, going forward, absolutely no question. This is the type of football we want to see United playing. Still question marks how this this three, you know, Pogba, Matic and, and Fernandez, how will they how will they defend against a better attack? But as far as attacking themselves, absolutely lights out. We talked a lot about Pogba going into this game, but it was his fellow country Martial who was fantastic. That touch for the third goal was world class, Frank. How highly do you regard him? Um, well, very, very much, uh, very high, I would say, because uh, I think he improved a lot. He got uh, more mature uh, years after years, and if, I feel he's one of the leaders now and in uh, in, the, in the dressing room and shows the way to other players who now are maybe younger. Don't forget that Manchester United, I think, is the youngest team um, in average age uh, of the Premier League. And, uh, and even Rashford, they all become, you know, very influenced and, uh, and very mature and, uh, and becoming uh, leaders to, to, the, to, the, to the squad. And, and today, he showed everything that you want to see from a striker um, with the first goal with a kind of a fight, with a aggressiveness, and the second one with the maturity, feeling the, the, the action, and the third one, as you mentioned, with the real finesse, uh, with a fantastic pass, uh, an assist from uh, the hero of England, Rashford. But uh, what, what the end of, uh, of the action with the, with the chip, well, and, and that was absolutely fantastic and ended up a, a fantastic day for, for Marshall. But I think overall, I was very impressed, and as Craig said, for, for a while, with uh, the way that Manchester United played mm. and, uh, and the way that they dominated a team who we thought could uh, create more problems to, uh, to, to the Red Devils. So very pleased with the performance of uh, Manchester United. But, of course, very, very pleased with the performance of Anthony Martial. Yeah, the thing with Martial, Craig, is that United fans are going to want to see this consistently. We've seen these flashes before, haven't we? But he does have a habit of putting in a good performance, followed by an anonymous one. Well, you're playing for that football club. You look at the strikers that have led the line for them in their, in their hugely successful periods. They've been, you know, very, very extremely consistent. Uh, amongst other things, very, very good players, but extremely consistent. So you can't afford to have those, those, those sort of ups and downs as many times as Martial has had. We know the quality. We've seen the quality when he first came in from Monaco. We've seen it in glimpses for France. Uh, and we've seen it in glimpses for Man United. We know he's got the pace. We know he has the talent. Now he's, getting a, he's got an understanding with Rashford. He's got a player that plays in behind him, Fernandez, who can pick a pass. He's got a player in Pogba when he plays deeper who can pick a ball over the top from that deeper position. So there's really no excuses. Uh, as Stevie said, though, they will face tougher opposition than Sheffield United, mm. who just look completely the opposite as they did at the start of the season. But that being said, it's going to give you confidence. It's in United's hands, more or less, Dan. If you look at their fixture list between now and the end of the season to get into the European places or, more importantly, Champions League places, they've got none of the top boys to play. Absolutely none of the top guys to play. So it's in their hands. They've got a great chance to finish the season strongly. And is this the lineup now? Going forward, Stevie? Uh, I would question whether it's uh, Matic consistently. Um, I'm going to assume it's going to be either McTominay or Fred. 
uh, to go along with Fernandez and Pogba. Uh, as far as the rest of it, then I would, I would, I would maybe throw in. I'm not sure whether Greenwood again is going to be consistently in the starting eleven. So, I think nine of the eleven today. Yes, um, two question marks over, over those other two. Pogba starting. How did you rate his performance overall, Frank? Well, I was I was more impressed the last game when he came on and uh, what he did for almost half an hour was uh, very uh, um, important for the club and very efficient. Uh, it, it, we can see that there is something special, uh, even if the for me the main man is uh, is Bruno Fernandez and uh, the guys can change the game suddenly because of uh, a fantastic skill and uh, an understanding of the of, of football. Pogba is coming back. Um, it's been a while since he played um, almost 90 minutes. Um, I think it's been more than nine months. So I, I wouldn't judge him uh, on the entire game, but we know the quality of Pogba. We mm. know that he can bring something special to Manchester United. And alongside Bruno Fernandes, and I agree with uh, Stevie, more McTominay than, uh, than, uh, than Matic. I think uh, Manchester United has a great, great midfield. Players. Bearing in mind, bearing in mind, Danny hasn't played much football at all before uh, all this lockdown happened. I thought he was in cruise control. Now uh, the big question mark was, you know, w with Fernandez coming in, if Pogba stays, and we don't know. There's always there's always going to be lots of questions over the uh, the coming months. It is what's the relationship going to be between them? And I, I think, in some sense, the Fernandez signing uh, lessens the load on Pogba a little bit because. Most of us, and I include myself, we're looking for him to do more and a bit of everything. And, it, and it, I think it, it, maybe it was a little bit too difficult for him to try and be that all-encompassing player that was doing everything for the team. So now he's got a supporting cast where he will play those little balls in behind that Stevie mentioned, which was a fantastic ball. He will find him the, himself in those positions, but maybe not as much as he was needed in there before because they have another player who can do that. So he can balance being that playmaker with being the defensive or the deeper line player as well. And I think that's really going to help him if he stays long-term at Manchester United. That They have two players with the ability to unlock a defence. So Manchester United very he's right, much... Craig, Craig is right, sorry, Dan. Dan, if I can say, mm. he's right. And it reminds me when um, Pogba was playing for Juventus, when he, has, he had Pirlo, and in fact had more freedom in the game offensively and, uh, and, uh, and could share the talent with somebody else in the midfield zone. So that's very important what just Craig said and that I wanted just to emphasise his comment. Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. And for more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for premium content and live streaming, subscribe to ESPN+.